welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the Military Social Work Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where military and aspiring military social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Well, welcome back to our second episode of Women History Month Military Leaders. In today's show, we will be talking about the life and service of the first female four-star admiral. That is Admiral Michelle Howard. Michelle Janine Howard is a retired United States four-star admiral who last served as the commander of United States Naval Forces Europe while she concurrently served as the commander of United States Naval Forces Africa and commander of Allied Joint Force Command Naples. She previously served as the 38th Vice Chief of Naval Operations. She assumed her last assignment on June 7, 2016. So let's talk about her. Howard was born at March Air Force Base in California the daughter of United States Air Force Master Sergeant Nick Howard and his British wife, Philippa. She is a 1978 graduate of Gateway High School in Aurora, Colorado. She graduated from the United States Naval Academy in 1982 and from the United States Army's Command and General Staff College in 1998 with a Master of Military Art and Science degree. So Howard has achieved many historical firsts throughout her naval career. She was the first African-American woman to command a United States Navy ship, the USS Rushmore, and the first to achieve two and three-star rank. In 2006, she was selected for the rank of Rear Admiral, lower half, making her the first admiral selected from the United States Naval Academy class of 1982 and the first female graduate of the United States Naval Academy selected for flag rank. On July 1st, 2014, Howard was appointed Vice Chief of Naval Operations, the second highest ranking officer in the Navy. Upon her swearing in, Howard became the highest ranking woman in the United States Armed Forces history and the highest ranking African American and woman in Navy history. Howard also became the first female four-star admiral to command operational forces when she assumed command of United States Naval Forces Europe and Naval Forces Africa. Howard retired on December 1st, 2017 after nearly 36 years of service in the United States Navy. So Admiral Howard she has a she has a really inspirational story um, and I feel very privileged to be able to to highlight and and discuss um, at least at least give a, an overview of all of her accomplishments um, let's look at her awards so she has the Joint Chiefs of Staff badge she has the Service Warfare Officer Pen. She has the Def Defense Distinguished Service Medal. She has the Navy Distinguished Service Medal with one gold star, award star. She has the Defense Superior Service Medal with one bronze oak leaf cluster. She has the Legion of Merit with two award stars. She has the Meritorious Service Medal. Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal with three award stars, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal, Joint Meritorious Unit Award with two Oak Leaf Clusters, Navy Unit Commendation, Navy Meritorious Unit Commendation with three Bronze Service Stars, Coast Guard Meritorious Unit Commendation with O Device, National Defense Service Medal with one Service Star, Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal, Southwest Asia Service Medal with one service star, 
Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Armed Forces Service Medal, Humanitarian Service Medal, Navy Sea Service Deployment Ribbon with one Silver Service Star, National Order of the Legion of Honor, and this is a, a French award, a NATO Medal for former Yugoslavia, Kuwait Liberation Medal from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait Liberation Medal from Kuwait, Command at Sea Insignia, and Allied Joint Force Command Naples. So I have to say, uh, Admiral, Admiral Howard has a very, very inspirational um, career and life of service in the U.S. Navy. And again, I just feel very privileged to be able to talk about her today. Um, and she continues to serve. Um, she was recently appointed to a commission on the renaming of all Department of Defense um, properties, which would include ships that that have previous, previously been designated with um, uh, Confederate generals and Confederate service members. So she's, she continues to serve her country uh, with honor and distinction. So I'm gonna stop there. I wanna thank everybody for watching this video, for all the social workers out there. Please, thank you. Thank you for the work that you're doing every day for your clients, for your agency, and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.